Oh, I hate it. <laughs> That's the intro screen. I have to play as these people, don't I? Okay, I don't like any of them. I don't like any of them. By the way, fucking pro tip, don't shake kombucha. I spent way too much time cleaning that up just now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No! Haha, -ha, you thought the game was installed, but actually there's seven more loading screens where we continue to install more game. Surprise. We tricked you. Wow, they're really going. Okay. I guess this would be a good time to go do some errands. <laughs> I thought we were ready. I thought we were good to go. What, what's the point of having a launcher where it does all that shit if it doesn't finish the process? You have to install the game after I reg like after I register an account. All right. Doesn't all right? Is that the real loading screen? There we go. Do I have to click or can I use controller? Wait, does this does this game have controller support? that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Oops, select a twin. So you pick a character to play as? Oh no, this game just doesn't have controller support, does it? Oh, well that's disappointing. Alright, uh... I guess this guy? Ah. The environment is pretty, but I do not like looking at these characters. Enter your name. Uh, Jackdaws. There you go. Oh no, she's cubes. I don't think and she wants to give you like your sister. That, the god took away my sister. I think she wants to make you cubes. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So while we used to travel from world to world, we are now trapped here. How many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone, until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that, otherwise Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going! Wait, does she refer to, does she refer to herself in third... Uh, yep, go to Paimon. She calls herself Paima. There, ha surely this game has controller support. That just seems like a natural fit for this kind of game. Control check keyboard. There we go. 
There we go. I'm like, I'm like, am I insane? Like, surely this seems like a game that would have controller support. Oh. Oh, our A and B switched. Oh god, that's, that's gonna fuck with me. Okay. So B. What do close and open mean? I guess open means... Yeah, yes? But they call it close and open? That's a new one for me. Can I... It's one of the controller's types me switching A and B so they don't aren't aren't backwards from each other. I don't think it is. All right. There we go. That's what I figured. It's a little low. But how did I get here? Wait. No. Ah fuck. <laughs> All the controls being backwards is really fucking with me. How do I No. There we go. It's joystick only. You can't use the D-pad on menus. That's just, uh... Actually, aiming being low is good. How do I make it go left and right? Right trigger and left trigger to increase and decrease. Okay, that's why. You can't use the you can't use the controls to move it around. You have to press the right trigger and- okay. That's unusual, but okay. We're gonna dodge, we're gonna jump. Do we have an air dash? I don't think so. So what- oop, what have I done? Oh, I- I'm wrong- I'm wrong about A and B constantly, that's gonna mess with me. So there's a head, a map, a backpack, quest I assume? So why am I playing this game? We discussed it last podcast, and then Andrew decided that he was going to go play it, and uh, and we're going to discuss it again. So I'm like, I guess I'll, I guess I'll play it. I guess I'll play some of game. You just lock on and kind of dash to them. Yep. A crab wanted out. These are waypoints that you can teleport to on the map. Which I believe I opened here, yeah. Why was I struggling? What was I what was I doing a second ago? Uh you, you have to let go of the joy you have to you have to flick that joystick and let go. If you let go of the bumper, it doesn't confirm. Thank you, Paimon. I am an intergalactic planet hopping super organism with wings, but I need to have my stamina system explained to me. A dull blade. That's the best we've done in the last two months, is get a dull blade. He may he may not be the most proactive type. You can't stop me. I can eat a pear even if I'm not injured. I like how the title showed up in the bottom right corner really small, as if to, like, just make sure that if you took a screenshot of this moment, it would have the proper branding. There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the Seven's protection over the world. Among the Seven Gods, this god controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but... Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's a reason why. 
The word is I. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. I'm definitely wondering what he's been up to for the last two months. But also, I also definitely want her to go away. Maybe she dies tragically at the beginning of Act 1. One can hope. Like how there's always a peaceful village at the beginning of a JRPG and then they all die. And you're like, okay, well, we're done with those people. <laughs> Time for revenge, but also we can be kind of satisfied that that part's gone now. Yeah, it's called having skin. Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal. Now I was born with skin. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. They don't have skin? It's a bit rude to say that about the power the gods just gave you. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of Animo. So perhaps because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Let's move then. The elements in this world responded to your prayers and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. Does, does this game have people in it? Is anyone a human? Or is everyone a weird god deity floating angel boy? I'm just trying to figure out the, the basic stuff. They're like exposition. Oh, they want me a tutorial. I think I did charge it last time already, right? Nope. Oh. No, we have a cooldown. Oop, that'll get him. The animal powers you got from the statue of the seven. Oh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers? Ah, let me let's let me use them on you and we'll see if they rub off. Uh, we, we, went, we started with the insanity of like floating angels fighting a cube goddess over the portal of the abyss and then I've got a floating fairy lady that won't stop talking to me and I'm just wondering like what's the base level of this world <laughs> like what does a person look like are there people okay it's only getting weirder I, I don't know what the base level is here man Hello. All right. Oh well, <laughs> he fell off, so I guess I'll get to him later. Guys, uh, you ever gonna do anything? Yeah. Come on. It's like Dynasty Wars without the catharsis. Like, what if Dynasty Warrior is but only one peon at a time? Very slowly, and you hit the peon 17 times before he dies. But he but he still fights back as much as the peon in Dynasty Warriors does. You alright, buddy? I don't really want to go down there, because then I have to come... Ah, uh, whatever. I can just climb back up. There you go. He only had one hit. All right. A 
I'm gathering a lot of items, but I'm not really in a hurry to check them out yet until I have means to reasons to do so. Just because I could sit here and obsess over reading what each item is like, pretty much the whole time. There's so many like animals and resources and things. I'll hold off on that and just kind of passively grab things for now until it seems to matter. Not a crafting chance. Combat knowledge? Obtaining energy. Absorb elemental orbs and en elemental particles to replenish energy. Dealing elemental damage, defeating enemies, or performing other actions might also generate elemental orbs. Who's that Don't Pokemon? Worry. It's alright now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> Who's there? Six wings. I was gonna say that's an ar technically an arachnid, maybe, but no, that's. That's ten limbs. That's too many limbs. That was close. Paimon almost got blown away. Luckily, Paimon managed to grab hold of your hair. Thanks. Good thing the dragon didn't notice it. It clearly noticed us. Just what was that? Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten. Definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. I can't believe dragons exist in this world. Are you implying that you're from a world that dragons were fictional in, but now you've gone to a world where they're real? Because that just makes me think we're in like never-ending storyland, where we're like in sort of a we're inside of a book. Yeah, Paimon gets why you're worried. Are you the page master, Sebastian? Oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Be careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. It kind of feels like they took Breath of the Wild and were like, what if we put Navi back in it? <laughs> All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. How do you know it's dangerous? Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. Where did you put that? Okay, bye. Every now and then I'm just like, you know what? Maybe it's a good thing that Fee and Tattle and Navi were all silent. <laughs> like the hey listen was already grating enough a little bit for people, but at least Navi didn't speak every line of dialogue every single time. It was just text. Which, in some ways, is a mercy. <laughs> Did I scare him off? I think there was like a boar? Like right here? I guess they weren't hostile. So he just ran off when I showed myself. protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. We're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Hello, I'm Jack Dawes. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. Do I, like, dress myself this way every day? Like, how... Or do I need, like, a squire to help me get all the stuff on? And have I, been, have I been living in the wilderness for like the last two months? Like, how is this pristine? How am I so pristine and like manicured? Everything's clean. 
Do I shave? Or am I just like a magic angel that never has to shave? But also like the scarf is it's just direct, just distressingly intricate. What, what, this costume is a lot to take in, honestly. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? Wait, you don't know what she is? I'm not from this world. I thought she was normal here. Is she not normal here? Emergency food. Hey! That's even worse than being a mascot! That's fine. You don't need to have opinions when you're meat. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? She is so much to take in. She has a cape that's full of stars? Who are you? Why do I know you if you're not normal here? Well, look. There's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, those are goggles. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. You know, in any other context, she would seem really extra, but in from what everything I've seen so far, she seems almost grounded and practical in her design. Like, it's ornate, but it's not completely tasteless. Like, there's kind of like a restraint shown to some of her design, at least, where it's not completely just insane. Why so suspicious? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake. Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? Leave it to me. You're the Knights of a Handbook? Where the fuck did she go? Oh, I'm her now. All right, there we go. Sup, oopsie. I thought it was, I thought it was bow logic where you hold it down. And then release it. So, suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Paimon is his travel buddy, helping him to find his sister. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh... Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit. Apparently we need to go here. Uh, That's more like a it. Quick, get it! The fuck did you call A Hillichurls. Okay. That's a name. It's actually weaker than the one I fought earlier. That, this time is to clear out their camp. How dangerous can they be if one person could just kill an entire camp of them? I don't think I've been hit by an enemy yet. These ones are only weaker than the other ones were. This might be where <laughs> keyboard and mouse would be a little more helpful. <laughs> is when you switch to uh, aiming, obviously. Alright. Do you guys have any ranged weapons? This feels cruel. That's a great A hitbox. Oh, there's the ranged weapon. That's the first attack any of them have ever done. Though I've gotta say, you me a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Barely broke a sweat. In fact, I didn't do anything. Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. So you know what the hilly trails are, so you're from this world. They just she just doesn't know what your deal is. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed, and the local market has been affected as well. Does the dragon speak, or do people just name it? When the storms 
hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries. So the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. <laughs> Just punching things when I try to open them. Whoops. All right. So we got Bokoblin camps. Constant item retrieval. The climbing. Although when I played Breath of the Wild for this long, I had already been one shot, I think. <laughs> That's the level of uh, danger I was in. This one's mostly a lot of exposition and dialogue. And, cu and cutscenes. Followed by almost patronizingly easy combat. What should I cook next? Oh, I thought that other voice I heard was your voice. Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? No, we just happen to be passing by. <laughs> what are you cooking? Smells good! Oh, was that a bug? That line played already. I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. I'm amused by the fact that we're, we're meeting characters in an order of descending insan insanity. Now we just have a lady in like, a, she just has like a skirt with a little like tie. And like, it's still like, it's still like elaborate enough where you'd be like, that'd be, that'd be probably pretty expensive to get in real life. But it's not like, how do you dress yourself? <laughs> Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. That's right, I love cooking too. Oh, there's a cooking pot right there. Show me what you got. It's good to have someone to practice with. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. Oops. They've they've done a number on my instinct of like what button will do what by switching the uh, confirm and cancel buttons. Or maybe I'm muscle memorying something. Do I press that button to pick something up in another game I'm playing, I wonder? No, oh, I pressed I pressed cancel, didn't I? That is one of the easiest active reload screens I've ever seen. That... Those have to get harder, right? They have to. There's no way. That's hilariously easy. That's like a full second of margin of error. Insufficient ingredients. Loser. Is it done? Mmm. Smells good. Let me try. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Uh. Now that's really tasty. You are indeed gifted. Paimon told you so. With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Monster. Okay, thank you for the info. I'm sorry, just, it's too much, it's too much. You can also find ingredients by slowly checking the info. Yes, I, yeah, yep, I've been playing the game. I've noticed. I've also played video games before. I'm gonna sh fucking blow your mind with that one. In a crazy turn of events, Genshin Impact is not my first video game. 
In fact, I don't know how anyone would find it and install it if it was. There we go. Yeah, it was, it was automatic cooking for chicken mushroom skewer. What does that mean? Oh, so you just never have to do the QTE again. You do still have to wait for it to... Yeah, still have to wait for a moment. We kind of improved if you could just, like, instantly be done with it. As a result of that, just, like, just mash the button and just have, like, five of them done. As your reward for having the auto build. That looks like a cut. Uh, no? <laughs> Between him and all the birds, I'm like, that looks like a cutscene about to happen. Thought I could spot the vignette. Recently, but everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. I hope she knows something about the god of, an of Anim. <laughs> of Animu. This village of little Animu boys and girls. To the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey, why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Yeah, I mean, she did just as much as I did, which is nothing. Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. What does that mean? What? <laughs> How, you, you don't know who I am or who she is. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky Honey Roast. Sticky Honey Roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. So you don't know who what she is, but she's familiar with your culture's foods. Uh, what did I get as a reward? Shit, it all went away really fast. I didn't get my answer of, like, what... Is like a good reward for for jackdaws, but not for uh, uh, Paimon. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Maybe her Except reward should be fucking grammar lessons. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. I don't actually think I know where I'm going. Uh. Let's see here. Friends, achievements, characters, quests. Go to the location designated by Amber. Was it just not marked yet? Okay, it wasn't it just wasn't the active quest. Gotcha. About Pyro, elemental reactions. Pyro attacks can cause beings to be become affected by pyro. Wow. Good sentence. <laughs> if you use an attack on somebody, they are affected by that attack. When pyro meets other elements, it often triggers elemental reactions. Weak spots like heads, hydro. One of 
Hydro attacks can be caused beings to be affected by Hydro. Alright. <laughs> I see the level the tutorials are on. Oh, it's that pop-up's not gonna go away. It's just two different pages, but she's in water in one of them and not in water in the other one. They also only made the tutorials for one year the other character. There. They counted me as not having finished the tutorial, but once I had looked at the picture of her in water, I had finished the tutorial. The text was not different. They had no more to say. They just had to make sure you understood the idea that a person could get wet. Visually, because the description would not suffice. Though she didn't look any different visually. She kind of just had like a, a few floating drops spritzed around her body. Floating. is a wind glider. Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt I brought you. Oh. Well, that uh, it's easy to. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. I can't just listen to ten lines of dialogue about the 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 glories of the the, the glider. Just give it to me. To their wings. Does this feel like a brutal mockery to what you once had, when you once had real wings? You're like Kid Icarus. Your pit. The sky. Maybe he's friendly. That dragon seemed familiar. Huh? How are you staying afloat like this with just a wind glider? I'm preventing your fall with the power of a thousand winds. Oh, we're now, going. Concentrate. See yourself grasping the wind. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> it sounds like a hail. I'm starting to feel like I'm the asshole right about now. against the dragon. Are you a new ally? <laughs> or a new storm? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! I thought I... yeah. I thought that seemed familiar. Uh. In uh, The Power of the Dark Crystal and Beneath the Dark Crystal, which are two different comic trilogies, there is a... Uh, a blue serpent dragon in there too, and I was like, "Why? Did, why is this ringing as familiar?" And it's like, "Ah, oh, it's kind of similar." Kaya, traveler, you've come at the right time. We must. So you also like you just get out of bed and dress like that every day, right? Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya. 
Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. Long story short. But, like, she doesn't have a long story to summarize. It really is just like, hey, I met them a minute ago. They're looking for their sister. She's looking for a sister. And, like, that's the whole story. There was no fade to black story to tell. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Ah, uh, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, so, um, where's the reward? Ah, uh, how about a traditional Mondstadt delicacy? Sticky honey roast? I just heard about that one. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. Uh, it's so much dialogue between gameplay and then the gameplay is, like, patronizing. Like, that didn't, that, that didn't demand anything of me. Oftentimes the, the gameplay can kind of be the carrot at the end of the stick. But instead I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between two things that I don't particularly enjoy. And then it just keeps going. This seems to be the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Let's head in. I level up like fucking crazy apparently. Uh... Agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I brought them. <laughs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mondstadt welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. My skin is one particle away from a full-blown breakout. I feel like the voice actor was supposed to play that differently. Maybe the entire character differently, if that's a line she was going to say. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. Guess we should leave it up to you then. Where's the inn? Hey, don't be such a slug. We should be a part of this too. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There is no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates.
The wish feature's been unlocked. Wish- alright, never mind, didn't need to read that, it's fine. You could just fucking move on whenever you feel like it and not wait for me to press the button, even though there's a button prompt. It's cool! I love auto-proceeding. <laughs> ah! Every- it's always annoying! It's always annoying when there's non-voiced text that- that auto-proceeds. It's like, do you want me to read it or not? Oops. <laughs> Wanna team up with me? Huh. I should warn you though. I don't slow down for anyone. Greenhorn or otherwise. Let's all do our best to do So am I picking one person to ally with or Oh, there goes her voicing. So you can't team up with her. Ah. All right, your name's Kaya. You're not bad with that wind glider. Your gliding style seems familiar. The part where I flew like hundreds of feet into the air via magic. <laughs> Why is Jean the acting grandmaster? The Grand Master is currently off leading an expedition, so the Master, Jean, has stepped in to oversee the Knights while he's gone. Hence, you'll hear many refer to her as the Acting Grand Master. When the Grand Master left, he took the vast majority of our Knights with him, leaving the Acting Grand Master with far more responsibility and stress. Come to think of it, it must have been difficult for Jean. I thought she was just like the Grand Master of acting. Why does that have a star rating? Why does that have a star rating? Why some of the books have star ratings? Hmm. Don't let me, I'm just gonna steal everything you own. You made the mistake of letting an adventurer into your house. And you will pay dearly for this price this uh, mistake. Wanna team up with me? I should warn you though, I don't slow down for anyone, Greenhorn or otherwise. You seem pretty good with a wind glider. As a novice within the Knights of Favonius, your understanding of the wind is absolutely crucial. Leave the advanced wind glider training to me. Okay. Is she coming? You want to meet up with train up? You want to team up with me? Just makes me think that like I'm supposed to be. That, that, that set the pre the the pretense that I was supposed to like talk to who I want to have join my party, but I don't think that's actually relevant. From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. We could start by going to Mondstadt's blacksmith. Oh, that's weird. When you stop gliding, you fall straight down. You don't maintain any of the forward momentum. It looks kind of weird. There's the blacksmith! Take your pick. You'll find no second-rate items at Wangler's. <sighs> Why? I'm looking for a weapon. Over there. Take your pick. Or if you need something else, I can make it on request. Wow! He does bespoke weaponry? Of course! I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. No. But bring some back and I'll help you f no need. I think he seems like a short-tempered guy. Was it something we said? Where are the weapons? Go get the weapons, they're over there. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Whatever. I think bespoke means commissions, basically. It's not really a word you hear. 
I think it just means on request. Or by design, or like designed. So commissioned, basically. Just trying to get to the good part. If there is one, please be, please have one. This is it. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. Huh? Wait, did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. What? It's like some kind of tougher thing that happened. It looks like a different location, though, so I'm a little confused. Deep within the Temple of the Falcon, the Knights of Favonius have been mobilized to contain Storm Terror's destructive rampage. Venture forth with Amber. Yeah, but this is just. You already know. Oh, I pressed cancel, didn't I? Because I pressed A, which is, which is, which is, no. <laughs> uh, nope, that's all I've got. Those are my characters. You can use that console to open the door. Well, this place is fucking massive. <laughs> there must have been a very long staircase downward when we went through that door, or it was a portal, I guess. Amber has the ability to shoot air Yes, I am aware. Did they not expect me to have figured that out during the previous encounter? Did they think that she joined my party and I just ignored her in that entire travel here? Where we did a quest for her, and that's why all the dialogue is like, thanks for all your help, because they assume I did it without her, and never, like, did the most basic experimentation of like, oh look, she's on my screen, and she's a d-pad, oh look, she's a bow. They expected me to get like an hour into this game before I realized that. <laughs> Holy crap, no wonder what I walked in, they were like, you can use that thing to open the door, you know, the only interactive object in the room. I better tell you to use it, or you'd be too stupid to do it yourself. Use elemental sight to see elemental attributes of different objects. Green symbolizes dendro, which can be ignited by pyro. Dendro. Wooden shields are also dendro. So dendro is wood. Basically, nature element. So is the idea that I can only do it over there? Or no, I can do it everywhere. Yeah. Are you related to using that power? Anyway, you can't fight back, so... Bad news for you. Ha ha! You're on fire. Can you climb up here? Oh, you can't climb. That's really unfortunate. Did you forget I was here? <laughs> They've been all riled up. Hello. So is it gonna explode? 
Do I trigger it myself? Oop, there it goes. Alright, I'm kind of done with the bow. Man, if the selling point's supposed to be that the combat's way better than Breath of the Wild, that must not be true yet. <laughs> it must be some thing that happens 10 hours in or something, because, boy, this is barely interactive. They just fucking stand there. particularly brutal with jackdaws because they seem to not be capable at all of dealing with me just hitting them a bunch. Yes, I understand game. I understand what things are. <laughs> wow, look at those red barrels over there. I bet if you shot them with my flaming arrows, they might explode. Oh, I took a hit. Dang. Anyway. <laughs> Wow! This door appears to not be opening when I press on it. Maybe it's fastened by this mechanism, by the handle. What could you possibly do to open this door? Let's call it a locked door. Oh, it's like a puzzle. If you get this piece of iron that looks like the lock, maybe you could use that to open the door. Very good! I... It's so high. Seems like there's something up there. Meanwhile... This environment is so pretty. Uh, isn't this a pyro monument? If we hit it with a powerful pyro attack, we might trigger it. Sup? Oh. Need a little more boost, apparently. Placing elemental skills. I was just saying that there was a an aiming thing. Alright. Breath. Is that where the power's coming from? Great, let's smash it. Phew, I'm tired. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. That was the whole dungeon? Like, no puzzles? And it was just, like, two encampments worth of enemies? So, like, it's really hard to believe you had struggled with this when you were already able to clear out an encampment before? It's just, I don't buy this as being a threat to your village, honestly. <laughs> Sounds deep. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history- I'm not- nope. <laughs> nope. That's not where my curiosity currently lies. So when does this game start being good? I'm kind of wondering how much legwork it being free is doing? Because being free is powerful. People love free stuff. So I, so I actually don't have to... Ah. Do 
She seems to be immune. I was gonna say that I don't have to aim, but it looks like I do. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, I, I can sit here and spam, but that's not nearly as effective as actually aiming, because that gives me the charge up. I don't, and it seems like if I hold B, it doesn't ever charge up. So I was thinking about how, like, uh, much like in Zelda and whatnot, like, if, if you just Z-target instead, then that could be more, uh, honestly, just easier than having to aim at each enemy and all careful, like. But B is more of like a suppressing fire spam thing. I don't know. I'm actually not really sure what its purpose is. So I'm not really sure how useful it is if it does that little damage. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. That is a very familiar map, by the way. Like one to one with Breath of the Wild. Like it's this, it's like the exact art style. Weirdly specific. This is where people would be like, well, I don't compare it to Breath of the Wild, but it's like, they, I mean, they, they invite those comparisons. This game seems to be pretty explicitly inspired by Breath of the Wild. And that's like, seems to be why it exists. And it wouldn't have this art style and that map and many of these interface elements looking the way they do. If it wasn't specifically taking after Breath of the Wild. And, like, elements of its world design are inspired by Breath of the Wild and very clearly t are taking after it. Unfortunately, they're not really the one... They don't seem to be the parts of it that I cared about. Like, there's superficial similarities, like the color palette, and there being one billion items everywhere for you to pick up all the time and craft with. And then, like, the way that the map looks, and the way that the health bars on your enemies look. And the design of the encampments, and the people in the encampments, and the glider, and, like, a bunch of different elements that all, like, fit one-to-one. -one. But those, they're not, they're, they don't, they're not enough puzzle pieces to work in concert with each other to recreate why I would care about a game looking like Breath of the Wild. I won't let you down. Did I do a thing? Maybe it does a different thing each time? Because last time it was some wind. Mysterious Seely. Mysterious beings called Seely can be found scattered all across Tevat. If you follow them and help them in the, get their final destination, perhaps something special may happen. Oh. I saw one of those earlier and I completely lost track of where it went. I didn't realize it was going to lead me somewhere. Whoops. I think it was like right over there. So do you have an element? What's your deal? Oh, it's probably wind, <laughs> I would say. Yeah, these encampments are like one to one. To the point where not comparing them would be disingenuous. Like, la la la, I can't see or hear the basic stuff in front of me, I'm pretending it doesn't exist. Like, that's what you'd have to be doing to just refuse the comparison entirely. Like I look at those snapdragons and I have to double. I have to do a double take. Like, oh yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a different flower entirely. It's not the red peppers. It's something that was something else. But like the visuals are so close. Are you a Korok shine? Is wait, is that the Koroks of this game? Are they the foxes from Ghost of Tsushima? Because that's not that's not an upgrade. <laughs> Maybe some of the other ones have, like, puzzle-solving involved, and you don't just walk around a little bit. 
but I do not want the I don't want the foxes of Ghost of Tsushima to make a return. I was bored of them like one third of the way into Ghost of Tsushima and then was just like, fine, I'll do the rest, but uh, off camera at least, so I don't have to pretend to be interested in it. Melt, asshole. Oop, he's bouncy. There you go. You're gonna die. Aha. Uh -huh. Come back here. All right, aiming's going really well for me right now. All right, let's get to our objective. The faster I follow the objectives, the more likely I am to, inter to find some kind of interesting encounter, I hope. What's this icon mean? It's another Seely. So the Seelys are just are pre-mapped. Oh, you're not a Seely. You're something else. You're the you know. It's one of those consolidated wind things. The thing that I'm not. The thing that I'm. Thought she was done talking, but she never really is. Okay, that time I really thought you were done talking. <laughs> but yeah, it's the uh, it's the emblem that looks a lot like the uh, the emblem of Hyrule with the Triforce and the wings. But I'm not allowed to compare it to that because that's stop comparing it to other things. Say the comments probably already. If I sound like I'm playing this game with a gun to my head, I kind of am. <laughs> I kind of thought I could shake it off and be like, no, yeah, I'll just let the charm of the game take over and I'll just like have fun with it. And who cares if I'm. Don't think I'm gonna enjoy it. Like, let's just kind of go. But it's 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 not wowing me at all. Like, it it has not over the last hour done anything in particular to redeem itself. I've just kind of been really, really bored. Hey, an enemy that hits you back. That's a first. Why didn't I fire? Oh, it's because I keep trying- I keep trying to draw my my bowstring and that's not how it works. So, cause it- and like, when you're doing it, it intuitively makes sense. Cause like, you'll be holding down right trigger to draw your bro bowstring and then she's visibly charging an attack. So then you expect it to launch when you let go of the right trigger, but then it doesn't. Because actually it's letting you- it's waiting for you to release the right trigger and then press it again. Because only the pressing counts. Are you running away because you're a coward? Or did I go too far from your, like, leashing point? Do you... Did you leash? Do you leash that quickly when the, the game has ranged attacks? I guess they do. Just beating on this unresponsive bullet sponge of a blob that just has so much health, but is basically ignoring me. Which is a hell of a fight, I gotta say. Oop, accidentally climbing a tree. Oop, that was the wrong button. I wasted that. Whoops. Are you a puzzle? Puzzle might be a strong word if this is what it is, but... Okay, is there more than one at least? Okay. At least like a look around moment. I 
think there's one. Oh, there's one over here. Do they wear out? No. Not yet, at least. Hit boxes. All right, come on. Save me a trip up there. It seems like it won't let me light it. Maybe it's not part of this puzzle? It's not. Or I already lit it? No, it looks different. This is at least pleasant for a moment, just kind of wandering around. Yeah. I've so desperately wanted the game to shut up for a while. It's like, please, mercy. This, this was a waypoint, which... As you might imagine, look, especially in its red form, looks suspiciously like a uh, one of these torches. Temple number two. I think this is going to be your last chance. And then we're probably going to call it. Because I have been very bored. But I've tried to give it a good old college try. Not that it really matters, because people, if you express an opinion about something that you haven't played yet, then people, they're like, that's not fair. You're not allowed to have opinions about things you haven't played yet, even though everyone on the planet does that all the time. It's called making informed decisions based on your prior experiences, and it's how all of taste tends to work and it's how we filter old media on what we feel like experiencing and what we think is worth our time and so on uh but then when you then you've already expressed an opinion so now you're doomed because even if you do go and finally play the thing as people have been demanding the only valid answer is to completely make a 180 opinion uh a 180 turn on your opinion and completely love the game now because if you don't completely 100% absolutely love the game now, then you just went in hating, wanting to hate it all along. And so, like, you've already, like, expressed an opinion before, and so that just uh, that just feeds into it. So the people that acted like it was so important for you to experience uh, to experience the game will not experience accept anything other than you just being like, Oh, wow, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I was wrong. That's a lot of a fu that's a lot of experience. I guess these are what I picked up at that place. All right, well now I'm level one billion, so there we go. These are loot boxes, aren't they? And pre-order bonuses or something? But yeah, no, I I I knew going into this, the whole thing was gonna go roughly how it tends to go. We've done, because I've done this exact cycle, like, probably like ten times now. Oh, this is the big push to like, no, you gotta play the thing. Uh, you're being unfair to it and whatnot. And then I go in and it's like, whoa. Wow, in a shocking turn of events. I was right. And then they're like, you just wanted to hate it. It's like, no, I don't want to hate anything. It's just, I can kind of tell. <laughs> because I am an adult. And, you know, fire hot. Don't touch fire. She won't be upset if she catches us lazing around like this. 
Amber. Silence. Alright, now I'm level 1 billion. Let's do this. You've arrived. Come closer. Can you smell that? The ox axe body spray? Something must have happened in the temple. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever's giving Storm Terror extra power. Oh, yes. It is going to be lively in there indeed. Will it be dangerous? As bustling as it may be, no. I can't imagine it will be dangerous at all. It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Cool, yeah, don't raise any expectations for me. We'll just keep <laughs> chilling. Let's head in. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore. Yet the old winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples for the Four Winds. When I heard about there being four temples at the beginning, I thought that was going to be like the big, th the the big ones that you do over the course of the entire game. But now I'm thinking like, oh, these are probably like the four temples you do on the on the plateau at the beginning of of, of uh, I press cancel again because it's A A is cancel. But now I'm realizing like, oh, these are probably the equivalent of like those four temples from the beginning of the other game. Oh, he's still not in my party. Oh God damn it! There we go. And we haven't even gotten to the gotcha mechanic yet, because I don't even know when that comes up. Because that's distressing. <laughs> I was going to kind of make a show of ignoring it, because loot boxes, and fuck that. But it hasn't even reared its face yet. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries. Am I going to watch you play the game now? Oh, here you go. Trial. What level are you? Are you weak? No, oh god, we gotta be very careful here that I don't press the wrong button. What level? I, it won't let me- it won't let me see. I can't pause the game anymore. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple should be up there. Wait, how do you know? <laughs> Experience. See? You make decisions based on your past experiences. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. Or, you know, a decade of doing Let's Plays and two more decades of playing video games where you might have an idea of what might be to or not to your taste. Are you awake? Are you okay, buddy? to have a vision. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? It was a very strange feminine... Feminine... Uh, something strange happened. Hey, everybody. Die. Nope, he auto teleports apparently. Freeze. Ah, finally, we're here. Seems the path ends here. Let's use the wind currents to fly up. Yes, game. Thank, thank you, Fee. Thank you for your input, Fee. I, I, I'd be lost without you, Fee. Aren't I like level a billion? Oop. The effects don't seem super noticeable. Maybe because my weapons just aren't that great. Water! We can use this to put out fire. 
idea. That's some keen observation. Give you a title and make you a knight. I can't, man. I can't handle it. Speaking of, did you know? Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. I'm not aware of the exact details. Yes, I did know. You've already said that. You can ask the acting Grand Master about it. You didn't add anything to the story. You just repeated it again. I already know that information. Is that the thing that Storm Terror is using to gain its power? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Bravo! What a performance! You are, to my surprise, a well-trained knight. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. Didn't you... But they gave me you. Weren't they expecting me to use you in this dungeon? Like, you were mandatory for, like, every stage, because it was all ice puzzles. So, like... He didn't do shit. Not worth complimenting, really, because I was watching you? <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. The stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp! I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. See you later then, bye-bye! There's no way hilly churls organize an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. <laughs> Thus you were behind this. That was pretty racist. Hyperphonious, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. Are the anime boys gonna fight? No, nope, we're leaving. All right. Take that, the reveal of oh, masked something. This. Whatever, whatever that was. Wait, are you permanently in the party now? I thought you were on trial. Doesn't you being on trial imply that you're not permanent? But now you're just here. He's level two! Why is Jackdaw such trash? He's level 13 and he didn't feel any different from a level two? I'm not really sure what levels do, I guess. I don't know. Fire flowers. It's clearly spreading to the local grass. Was it good burned out? Can you like spread it? All right, well, I'm, I'm very bored. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna move on. I just, I, I got nothing. I just don't have anything to latch on to, really, that I would want to see more of. Hello there, flower creature. Die. Alright. You feeling alright there, buddy? You alright? You doing alright? 
You don't know. Oh, oh, they eventually fight back. I was genuinely starting to wonder if I was just gonna, like, stunlock them for eternity. Yep. Whoever this game is for, I, I don't really relate to you on this on this one. I'm not, I'm not feeling it at all. Oh well. Moving on with my life. So this has been Genshin Impact. If you want to play it, go ahead. It's free. Do your thing. It does have gotcha mechanics, which I'm not psyched about. Which is that weird phone game thing where you get booster packs of characters and they have like tier rankings and you get RNG results via loot boxes and you hope to get like the good one or whatever. Which that entire approach, yeah, that's a that's the that's the crossover of loot boxes that are not cosmetic but instead are gameplay mechanics. So any, anything that has that as a core gameplay mechanic is pretty iffy. And given that the game is free to play, that that has to be a monetized process. I don't know what I don't know how it's monetized because I haven't looked that far into it. But that's a whole thing. Because when you make your game free and then monetize it that way, you're relying on the exploitative idea of whales and people that get that get addicted to these kinds of mechanics and will spend disproportionately more. Because what you're saying is that you're hoping that you will make more money via the, the free-to-play model than you would have made if it was not free-to-play, which means that you're th you're hoping that whatever instead of whatever asking price you would have asked for if this to just sell this as a regular ass JRPG in a store for like thirty or forty or fifty or sixty dollars or whatever, and then just leave it at that, you're hoping that that on average more people will. Uh, spend more in the store than that in order to make it a big success. <clears throat> or at least compared to like the number of people that would have bought the game, you think, based on your projections, you're hoping that you'll make more money via those other monetization practices than you would have be just asking for the game to be bought. And that is always... There's never really a good side to that entire approach. Never, I'm never really a fan. But I don't have much to say about the specifics. I know that I've seen a variety of different gotcha looking games in the past, and this is literally the first one I've ever played. Because it's such an alienating thing to see in a game that I'm immediately like, ugh. Fucking gross. Because especially since a lot of them, like the final- like, I, there's like a, I think there's like a Final Fantasy one, and a Fire Emblem one, and so on, and like... They're built around the idea of... The Pokemon style thing of you having an attachment to particular characters and the imagery and iconography and the nostalgia of them. And so they're gonna lock they're gonna put them in a game like in Smash Brothers, but instead of just giving them to you, like in Smash Brothers, they're gonna lock them behind exploitative RNG practices where you're gonna keep plugging away at that Skinner box over and over again, just hoping that just maybe you can get it to give you like your S rank super Marth this time. Because last time they gave you a D rank Marth and Blah, 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 blah. And so if you want to get the good one, you better keep putting money into it over and over again. Because uh, they'll get some of them for free on a certain time, but maybe they'll get impatient. Maybe you want to put some money into it. And that's what they're inve that's what they're pushing for. And the game is going to be on some level designed to push you to spend money, because that is the basics of how everything works. Like, it's not a crime to expect money to be put into your game. Because that's just how you, that's how, like, game design and so on is funded in the first place now, all of this all works. But to use it in weird, creepy practices, that's where you start bothering me. Oh, I'm, I'm apparently not allowed to go this way. The, uh... It's just selling a product that people enjoy and leaving it at that is one thing. But using emotionally manipulative practices to do things that you think you'll get more money out of them that way, like, that's always way creepier to me. That's what they're going for with these things. That's it's like, oh, if we make the game free to play, then there's no ceil there is no ceiling on how much somebody could spend. <laughs> is generally how that stuff goes. And I don't like anything about that. 
And there's a hundred different ways that this idea rears its ugly head, and I don't know the exact form of this one. Because I am too bored from the tutorial to continue that for that long. Do I have anything to say? Blah, 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 blah. No, I don't think I really have anything to say. I don't enjoy arguing in the comments about all of the context of this video and yelling about, like, ah, you didn't approach it right, or you were never gonna like it, or you ch cheated at having an opinion somehow, or your opinion's not legitimate for these reasons, and these reasons, because it's always a sliding scale, I get it. But uh, also, this video was made for free, and the arguing drives up the fucking engagement and makes it get suggested more, so... Uh, sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Promote the video by having your arguments. I'm gonna go ahead and stop now. <laughs>